Today's learning target. You'll use the five finger rule for picking a just right book. Have you ever had a book in your hands and you wondered if it was just right for you to read? You know what I'm saying. You don't want a book that's too easy to read or too hard to read, but how do you know if the book's just right? Believe it or not, I'm often asked if there is an easy way to figure out if a book is just right. I usually recommend the five finger rule. But what is the five finger rule? Well, it's a quick, easy, and generally accurate way to find out if you have the right book. Here are the steps to the five finger rule. Take the book in your hands and open to any page in the book. Just a random page. It doesn't really matter which one as long as it has a good amount of words on it. Then read just that one page out loud to yourself. You can read it softly or you can read it loudly. It doesn't matter. Not including names. If you are having trouble reading five or more words, the book is probably too hard. If you have no errors and you're reading the page really, really fast, it is possible that your book selection is too easy. One last thing, do you remember at least two details that you read on that page? If you can't remember any details, even if you read the whole page with few errors, it might still not be a just right book for you. But if you read that page at a good pace, with between one and five errors, and you can remember a few things about what you read, then this seems like it probably would be a just right book. And that's it. That's the five finger rule for saying if a book is just right for you. Seems easy. Let's give it a try. I've made a selection called The Book of Dragons. I really like how this cover looks, but I don't know if this is a just right book for me. I'm going to open it to a random page, and I'm going to read it. I've made one of my hands a fist, so I can count on it. Here I go. Dragon Banked. The Steel and Alch... Alchro... Well, there's one word that I didn't know. So I'm going to count a one on my finger. Bones, supporting its wings, caught the red rays of the evening sun, and the light licked along the dragon's chest. Chasses. Well, there's two words I didn't know. That's okay. This is helping me know if this is a just right book. With the faintest crackle of magic. She felt it like static raising the hairs on the back of her neck. Down, buddy, she whispered, and signed the signal for dis, uh, dis, n, d. That's my third word. If there are two more, then I'll know this is not a just right book. On the theo, theo, me, theo, my, that's the fourth word. I'm going to continue on. Plate by her right hand. The dragon folded its wings and dived. The stone sp... sp... Uh, spiris... spiris? Well, that's the fifth word. And even though I really wanted to read this book, I can tell it's probably going to be too hard for me. I'm not even halfway down the page. And I can't really remember anything that I've read. I need to move on to a new book. Oh, this book looks really good. It's from the Magic Treehouse series. It's called Midnight on the Moon. I'm going to open to a random page. It looks like I've landed on page six. There, said Annie. The Magic Treehouse is shining in the moonlight. Annie grabbed the rope ladder and started climbing up. Careful, go slowly, said Jack. 
He followed her up the ladder and into the tree house. Moon... Moon... La... Well, I've had trouble with my first word on this page. Streamed through the window. It's shown on the letter M that shy... Shimered. Shimered? That's two words I don't know, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. On the wooden floor. It shone on the three M things that rested on the M. A moonstone from the time of the ninjas, a mango from the Amazon rainforest, and a mam ma mom moth. Well, there's my third word. Am I going to get to the end of this page without five errors? I guess I have to continue on and see. Bone from the Ice Age. We need just one more M thing, said Annie, to free Morgan from her spell. Squeak! Well, look at that. I got to the end of this page and I only had three errors. And I can tell more than two things that happened on the page. They saw the tree house in the moonlight. They climbed up a rope ladder and they were looking for things that started with the letter M. This book is just right for me. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to start reading it right away. And now you know the five finger rule for picking a just right book. I hope you use it the next time you pick a book because reading is thinking.